What's up, everybody? I uh, hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to talk about this awesome problem that tests your understanding of binary fission and um, also tests some other concepts. But before I get into that, first of all, I hope you guys enjoy the effort I'm putting into my thumbnails now. I realized that was a thing, and uh, it's actually really fun. So hopefully my thumbnail game is stepping up, and as is my, hopefully, MCAT videos. So with that, let's get started on this problem, which says a bacterial species uh, divides every day. It takes the species of bacterium 60 days to cover an entire petri plate. How many days would it take for the same species to cover up half the plate? So the concept here is obviously biology, right? Uh, but more importantly than that, it's also quantitative reasoning. And that's something that actually is tested implicitly on the MCAT because as you know, the MCAT doesn't test your understanding of formulas, but it does test your ability to do some basic fundamental math on your own. And today I'm gonna go over both of those things with you. Hopefully you'll understand conceptually why this problem, believe it or not, is actually quite a difficult one. And also why it requires you to have quite a bit of quantitative reasoning skills. So first and foremost, how do bacteria divide? And if you're uh, attentive, you'll see that this image in the lower right already answers that question. They usually divide by this process called binary fission. And if you don't know what binary fission is, um, you can think of it as analogous to the aspect of mitosis. Remember, uh, human cells have mitosis where, but first of all, if you guys don't already know, the way you can remember what mitosis does is because mitosis is happening in your toes. Mitosis. Um, so it's happening in your toe cells, which actually divide. And the only difference is that humans have linear DNA. And as you all know, uh, bacteria have circular DNA. So that's the main difference. But more importantly, here is my little diagram of binary fission in the lower left. First of all, you're going to have this bacterial cell. It has circular DNA that's shown in green. It's going to undergo the S phase, which, you know, the S phase is just DNA replication. And when it does that, it's going to have twice as much DNA, and that DNA is going to get separated basically into two cells, cell one and cell two. And that is binary fission. And it's also drawn at the lower right. So now, let's understand the quantitative aspect of that, okay? The mathematics of division. So I'm going to obviously change colors here. We'll make it blue. So we'll start with one cell. Do you see this one cell? That one cell undergoes one division, and now you have two cells. Those two cells now undergo their own division, and now you have four cells. And that's going to happen over and over again. But basically what I want you to notice is that after one division, you have two cells. After two divisions, you have four cells. As you can obviously see, after three divisions, you'd have eight cells, and you can keep going on and on. But the formula that you're eventually going to get out is 2 to the nth, where n is the number of divisions. So if you wanted to find out the number of bacterial, I don't know, um, number of bacteria after a certain number of divisions, you'd do 2 to the n, and n would be number of divisions. So, you know, in this case, you'll see that if n is equal to 3, you get 8, n is equal to 4, you get whatever. You can keep doing that. But now let's apply this to our problem. So first of all, you might be very surprised to see this problem because it says it divides every day and you have 60 days, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't want you to think about that. I want you to think about this hypothetically because we, I know 60 days is a lot. So let's just change that number to six. You can do this on the MCAT. When they give you a big number, you can change it to a smaller number and extrapolate. And we've done this strategy before, but let's do this. Let's say it takes six days to fill up a plate. If it takes six days to fill up a plate, we know it would divide every day, right? So if it takes six days, that would mean that it undergoes six divisions. And if it undergoes two, if it undergoes six divisions, you'll see that the total number of cells would be two to the sixth, and that would be two times two, which is four times two is eight times three is um. Uh, wait, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 8, 16, 32, 64. So all of that will give you 2 to the 6 is equal to 64. All right. And then, when is the plate half full? Well, the plate is now going to be half full when you have 32 cells, right? That is when the plate is going to be half full. And when exactly would you have 32 cells? Well, you'd have 32 cells after 5 divisions, and therefore after 5 days your plate would be half full. So do you see how I just did this problem hypothetically? Initially, we had 60 days. There's no way you'd know how many cells there are in 60 days because you'd have to do 2 to the 60th. So what I did was I broke that down and I said, let's just say it was 6. And let's say it was 6. What you'd have is 64 cells, and that would cover up the whole plate. And therefore, if you wanted half the plate to be covered, you'd need 32 cells. And the only time you have 32 cells is after five divisions, which means after five days. So we didn't answer this question per se, but we still got an insight into how this question works. 
So now let's apply it to our actual question. In our hypothetical problem, which is shown up here, you'll see that we actually talked six days. We said it takes six days to cover an entire plate. And we said the hypothetical answer to this hypothetical problem was that the amount of time, how long would it take for the same species to cover up half a plate, that would be five days, right? It would take five days for this hypothetical species to cover up half the plate. And so what you'll see is it took Basically, the pattern you should have noticed is that it took one less day than um, the total. So remember, it told us it takes a total of six days to cover up the whole plate. And so to cover up half the plate, it takes one less day than the total. So if we want to apply this to our problem, the total is 60 days, right? And therefore, our answer should be one less than 60, and that's 59. Believe it or not, it would take 59 days for the species to cover up half the plate. And why is that? Why does that make perfect sense? Well, now I want you to think of this intuitively, okay? Because the reason it makes sense is, first of all, we're told that this species divides every day, okay? So now I want you to think about this hypothetically. On day 60, we're told that the entire plate is full, right? We have the whole plate filled with bacteria. And we know that it divides every day. so Think about what it would look like on day 59. Well, on day 59, you would expect it to be exactly half full. Why do you expect half? Well, because between day 59 and day 60, it divides. Every single one of these cells in here is going to divide, which means you're going to double the total number of cells. And therefore, if the plate is full on day 60, you expect it to be half full on day 59 because all of those cells will divide to make the plate half full. So hopefully, intuitively, this makes sense to you. But if it doesn't intuitively make sense to you, hypothetically, you can see how you can still get the right answer by kind of simplifying this down into a more simple problem, as I did up here, and, and using that to answer the more difficult problem, which is down here. But at the end of the day, the answer here is E. Hope you guys found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments if, you, uh, if you're still confused, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Again, like, sub like subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys in the next video. video. Thanks I really watching. appreciate it. If you want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it, because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.